Okay, today we're going to talk about InDesign's workspace. So what is the workspace? Well, the workspace is the area that we're looking at here, pretty much everything. We have our toolbox on the left, our menu items on the top. This area here is your control panel. On the right, we have our palettes. Here is our page area. And the area outside the page area is called the pasteboard. Well, let's take a look at the toolbox first. I'm going to come over to the left here. I'm going to click on this area here. I'm going to drag my toolbox away from the edge. By clicking this double arrow up on top here, we can change the orientation of the toolbox. We can make it single horizontal, double column vertical, or a single column vertical. I'm going to put it back to double column vertical because this is how I like it. Now on the other side, we have our palettes. Now these palettes are grouped together. If I click on pages here, you see they're going to fly out and they fly out in tabs here. This is a group here. You can see the separation. Here's another group. If I click on another item, the previous item will close down. And here's another group. Now we can also further customize the way this looks. I'm using the advanced workspace. There's several workspaces built in, but we can customize a workspace and save it as our own. Now, for example, these panels are sort of taking up a lot of room here. We can close them down by dragging them closed with the mouse like so. Now they take up much less space, but until you get used to them, you may not remember what these icons are. So we can pull them out a little bit, just enough to see the names of things until you get used to them. Now this double arrow up on top here, this is going to expand the panels out like so. So some people like this, but I think it takes up a little too much space and I don't really care for it. So I'm going to close it again. Now we can also further customize our workspace. Well, one thing we can do, we can choose different panels to show. In all the Adobe programs, all your panels will be listed under the window menu. So if there's a panel you want that you don't see, or if you accidentally close a panel, you can find them under the window menu. Uh, now, for example, let's find a panel that's not showing. So, for example, let's take um, interactive. Say I want to see hyperlinks. I'll click on hyperlinks. Now my hyperlinks panel appears. I can put this panel in with the rest by dragging it to the side here like so. And now it's become part of the side area. I can also bring panels onto the desktop, like so. I can click on the layer tab here and drag it off. Now this becomes an independent floating panel. Let's close it down a little bit. And if I need to, I can always click the double arrows here to collapse it or expand it. I can also double click in the title bar here also. I can combine panels together if I like. So for example, say I want my uh, swatches panel out. Click on the swatches tab and drag it out. Now I can also stack these together. I'll click on the swatches tab here. And now watch a blue box appear. So now I've made a little group that's floating on my desktop. I can also stack them one on top of another. Let's move this up. So I'll bring swatches and I'll tack it onto the bottom here. And again, you see that blue line. And we can collapse these individually like so. And we can put them back if we like. I'm going to put my swatches back. So I believe they were in this group. I'll click and drag, put them back into this group over here. And there we go. And now if we like this and we want to save it, we can create our own custom workspace by coming up here, 
click on the drop down arrow. You see I have one made already and go to new workspace. Give it a name. So I like to start it off with a number. And I'll say, OK. Now you can see the name of this workspace is now 02 Tony. And if ever I start to get sloppy and I want to return to the way my panels were when I created this, I can go up here to the drop down arrow and just select Reset Tony. This puts everything back to the way it was when I saved it. You should also check out the other workspaces. Adobe gives you some uh, default workspaces depending on what you're doing at the time. Essentials is very bare. I usually like to start off with advanced and then I customize it from here. Now this is not the way it was originally. So let's reset this, reset advanced and there you go. So we have some built-in ones that are very handy, but don't be afraid to customize it any way you like. So basically, that's how your workspace works. Now also, one other thing I forgot to say is this control panel here, this is a contextual control panel. This will change depending on what tool you're do using at the time. Uh, let's go back to my workspace. Now for example, if I change this to the type tool, you see my control panel changes. But we'll learn how to make text boxes and all that stuff in another lesson. So I would say that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.